let's just so whatever. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so a couple days ago, somebody left a comment below and said like, um, what is one bag that you've made for yourself more than once? One bag pattern. And I was like, um, probably the Emily bag, which is a pattern I designed, but I thought it would be super fun to show you guys the different bags I've made for myself over the years that I haven't gotten rid of. <laughs> Uh, so let me go ahead and start with the one I'm currently carrying, since that's technically not in my closet. Um, but I just made this one the other weekend with uh, my friend Tracy in Chicago. And we went fabric shopping. I'm going to make a video about it since I took some filming. Um, but uh, we made it at our house and we went shopping for the fabric and this is all leather. This was like a perforated leather that I backed with a cheaper leather. And this is the Bonnie bucket bag. And they had a dank, stinky, like dusty basement full of hardware. And they had these like super fun buckles and I was like, I'm gonna get two of them and I'm gonna find a way to incorporate them into a bag. Um, and then uh, this is one of my pre-made crossbody straps that I threw on there because I needed a crossbody strap and I just kind of switch it from bag to bag when necessary. Um, but yeah, this one was super fun to make. There's the messy inside. All right, so let's move on. Um, I'll try to tell you the story about each one if I can remember. Um, and then some of these may not be handmade and if they aren't, I'll just kind of throw them to the side. Um, so this was one that I made on my old machine. This is a little uh, the Dolly crossbody bag. Again, I would just throw on that little pre-made crossbody strap. I wonder if there's anything in here. Oh, there is. Okay, there's a quarter and my old house key. Maybe it's my current house key. Um, and then business cards. So this is just like my little tiny on the go crossbody that I added my enamel pin to that I designed. Um, this one is all leather. I think this is like the second all leather handbag I made for myself. This is the Louise barrel bag, but with like three inches added to the top and the side. I cannot remember if I made this one live, but I might have in my sewing group. Um, Rainbow hardware purse foot got ripped out somehow. Um, but this was my first time doing those like hidden strap connectors. They turned out really cool. Added a front pocket. And then on the inside, there's a ton of pockets too. There's a snap pocket that zips closed and um, pocket over here. And then this, oh, I have two pockets on this one actually that are lined with a tangled fabric that I got uh, at FM stores forever ago. There's like an old gummy in there, gross. Moving on. Uh, this was the first all leather bag that I made for myself and I made it around Valentine's Day like a year and a half ago maybe. Um, but yeah, I call this one the Sarah bag. I just never made a pattern for it, but such pretty leather. And then I kind of made up these connectors based on Kate Spade. Uh, and I always like to kind of test out a pattern before I um, release it. So you can see here my stitches are starting to come undone. Um, but this again has those, that like divided slip pocket with a zipper on top. And then what is still left in here? It feels heavy. Receipts from things, a notebook, um, business cards, and a chapstick. No, oh, it's almost out. I'll leave it in there. Oh, it's crunchy. I'm going to hold on to that. Okay. Uh, this is a bag that I finished and I forgot to add a nameplate and I loved it so much. So I just kept it. Um, this is the Elaine handbag, not made incorrectly, like the last one I made. Um, this one has just little short grab handles and a front pocket, crossbody connectors, and I think one of the reasons I don't use this one as much is I only added a single zippered pocket and I was like, I need more pockets. 
Uh, this was a tote bag that I was kind of testing out different ways of making. Um, added snap, zippered pocket, full of business cards, and then this like really big slip pocket. And then I tried to do something fun and add a uh, heat transfer vinyl to it. So it says Wingardium Leviosa, but the M got ripped. So it says Wingardian and people are like, you spelled that wrong. And I'm like, okay, Hermione. Um, ooh, this is a really old bag that I made for myself. Uh, so they had these at Target and I added the little cat faces with heat transfer vinyl. Um, and kind of cut them into cat heads. And this is the Emily bag made with all vinyl. Um, and I was kind of playing around with um, a big like slip pocket with piping on the front and it fell open a lot so I added a snap. You can see, <laughs> it's like it's for me, I don't care. Uh, it's covered in lipstick. Ooh, a penny, I'll leave that in there for good luck. Um, but this was made with old thread also. Like uh, it was made with a Guterman 100 Mara, which I thought was good thread at the time, but it doesn't hold up. Uh, but there's the inside, it's just canvas. And I tried to add a magnetic closure here, but the other side fell out. Um, oh, and if you guys watched my nameplate video, you'll know that he didn't include washers, so I always had my nameplates fall off the bag. You can see where it should have gone, but anyway. Uh, I actually still love carrying this bag. My crossbody strap connector popped off, but it's still good on this side. Um, I love that bag. That is not handmade. Uh, this one I've never actually used. It's just kind of in here because I don't want to think about it. <laughs> um, this was their retreat bag that I taught at um, Barb's Interfacing Retreat. The retreat was amazing. This bag was not. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, ooh. <laughs> uh, so for April Fool's Day, I released this pattern. It's called the Ben Bag. It's actually, it's like $2 on my website and it's a pretty good tote pattern anyway. Um, <laughs> but I used this fake fur and I added his nose and his little snaggle tooth. And um, the only person I've seen that actually made this bag, I'm pretty sure it was uh, my friend Cindy. And I was like, yay, someone actually made it. Um, and then I just lined it with cotton. I, I can't say that I've ever like used this bag outside the house other than like just to put my laptop in but it's so funny. It's so furry and I used to have it in the basement but every time I'd see it I'd be like Ben? <sighs> so. Uh -huh. Oof. So this was one of my first Emily bags that I ever made and this was with my old machine. So I couldn't top stitch these on, I had to rivet them. There's hardly any interfacing were really used. I think it's just woven fuse and fleece probably. Um, my connector started to come loose and I just used brown thread to put it on. Uh, you can see stitching isn't so great. And then the inside is just one slip pocket and I don't even, yeah, I didn't even interface the lining fabric. Whatever, right? Uh, it's a nice snap though. But you can see my top stitching is starting to come loose just cause it's, it wasn't that great made, but I would still carry that today. <laughs> just saying. Uh, this one I didn't make, it's a Vera Bradley and I just really loved this pocket in the front, how it's kind of hidden. Uh, and then it's got side pockets. So I honestly just bought it to like copy at some point. Oh, there's a tote in here. I probably took it traveling. Yeah, this was a tote bag I made for myself. <laughs> Time for the charm bomb to explode. I need to use that. Keep that out. Oh, um, why? Why don't I ever use this anymore? 
So there was one night, I think I was going out of town and I couldn't sleep, which is what's new. And I made this like little slouchy crossbody bag out of all leather and some of my favorite cotton fabrics. Um, I don't, I think this is, I think this is pretty much the Emily bag out of all one fabric again. Um, but I just, I think I don't like the straps very much. Um, but I really love this pocket on the front. I applicate this cap to it. So it's a nice slip pocket with like a cargo shape to it. Um, and the lining is really cool. It's got a zipper on the top. And it goes all the way so it's nice. And I really should use this bag more. Maybe I'll switch over. Not nah, just <laughs> um, But the lining is really cool. I added a... A zipper facing and then I added this fun slip pocket with some remaining scraps of leather and I lined it um, yeah, I should carry this bag more often and then it's a crossbody as well I loved how slouchy this bag was um, especially for a crossbody and this was my crappy thread again oof this wasn't even that long ago all right um, this is not a bag that I made for myself. It's just a really old Vera Bradley that I loved carrying. So I keep it kind of to copy the pattern someday. I'm just curious what's in here. No clue. It's mostly uninterfaced except for like the pocket. It feels like it has some 809. And then this is just like a headliner foam. Again, I didn't make it. I'm just talking about the interfacing. Oof. Oh man. I feel like you guys have seen this bag if you watched my now and then comparison video. Uh, this was the very first Harriet that I made. This was my old machine as well. And this was some of my favorite vinyl from Hancock. You can see how terrible my top stitching is. Um, and then I messed up my seam allowances. So there's like this big mess up right here that I just kind of covered. You can see folded it in on itself, whatever. Um, but I was so proud of myself for finishing it. The lining is uh, just the one zippered pocket and then uninterfaced cotton. And yeah, my dad and I were talking about rivets and he's like, oh, let me just add one. And it was a pop rivet. So I'm like, thanks. <laughs> but I keep it for nostalgia's sake. And then I couldn't get my interfacing to stay on this vinyl so I just added those purse feet. <laughs> it's so terrible you guys but I love it so I'm gonna keep and then this is just a fossil bag my sister gave me to like copy the pattern of but it's really cool how it snaps on both sides and there's like a wallet so if I'm going to a concert and I need more than just my little dolly I'll carry this what is this oh it's a my old laptop messenger bag. This was a wallet I bought on Mod Cloth because I loved the size and shape and I wanted to kind of duplicate it someday. Like, look how cute it is. It's just, and then there's more right there. It's so perfect. I don't know that I really use this that much, but I kind of want to switch. Probably not though. Um, this is another Veer Bradley that my father-in-law gave me. I never used it because I was like, cool, I make bags. Thanks. Um, Vera Bradley wallet that I was hoping to duplicate someday. Oh, what's in here? Old debit cards. How about that? Um, but I did use this for a long time. Let's see, there's a penny and $3 off cat litter that expires in 2017. Anyway, um, oof, this was another one of my first Emily bags. Oh, here's the crossbody strap <laughs> for the Harriet tote. Look at that. Oh, it's cringy. So cringy, that hardware. Um, 
Another one of my first Emily bags. This was also made on my old machine. And this is one of my first leggings bags. So we've got the recessed crossbody there. Um, this has some nice big open zippered pockets. It's interfaced with 809. Oh. Nothing wrong with it. It's just, I've done better work today, but this is a really soft leather. Did I make this with my new machine? Okay, yes. So I did make this with my industrial, but it's still poorly made. Moving along. Got a laptop bag. Is there anything in here? Oh, NCW pieces from when I printed it out at my sister's house. Add fold line. Oh no. Oh my god. So this is like my rough draft for the Emily bag. I don't know why that's so cool to see. Anyway, old cords. So I was visiting my sister Emily when I wrote it all out. And I also made her an NCW that looked terrible, but she carried it anyway. Um, <sighs> okay, so I tried to make an NCW a very long time ago. Um, I think this was with my, my current machine too. And I wanted to carry this at my wedding. I think I did-ish, but I was making it really late one night and I added the vinyl on the wrong side. I was like, oh well, I've worked so hard. Um, the snap came loose because I forgot to add it and I wanted it to not open so wide and I definitely didn't need card slots. But when I was done, there wasn't enough interfacing. So I literally added cardboard. <laughs> Oof. Is there anything in here? No, there isn't. Uh, but I'm not gonna lie, I love how it opens, so I need to like brainstorm. Here's the rest of the flap. I just kind of like folded it and sewed it together. It's rough, guys. But like, come on, I can't get rid of it. It's so cute. Uh, this was one of my first vinyl totes that I made. Uh, it's completely unlined. I was just kind of playing around with ideas and I added a crafty boss bitch to it in vinyl, which is also peeling off because I think I added it with an iron. Um, but yeah, I need to carry this more often. I'm gonna throw that out there. Uh, we're getting down to the last of it. This was a Heidi that I made myself. It went with me on my honeymoon cruise, but my zipper is broken. So that's kind of why I stopped using the all-purpose zippers. Oh, an ibuprofen. It's just a, uh, but I did love carrying this bag. I felt very fancy with it. Added a cute little tassel. Um, yeah. I would still carry this. I made this not too long ago, really. But that hardware. Um, and then the very last thing is something that I did not make, but I had my friend Dana make for me. Uh, this is the NCW, of course, with fabric that I designed, and I just couldn't with the pattern, so I asked her to make it for me, and she uses, like, heart snaps and stuff, um, so I will never, ever get rid of this. It was really special to me that she made it, and I still use the, um, key fob that came with it, so yeah, let's just put all the crappy bags down in the bottom. Uh, so let me know below if there are any bags that you have made that you can't bring yourself to get rid of um, for any reason. I would love to know and feel free to give it a thumbs up if you liked this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.